How well this video is going to cover how to schedule a meeting using your Zoom account on your iPad or iPhone. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Zoom Basic, but it should work very similar on the Zoom Pro. I've tried it out a couple times, so they're very similar. Sign in. And once you're in, you're going to touch the schedule. And I'm going to go ahead and call this... Um, Zoom, and you would name this whatever your group is meeting that you're scheduling it for. So Zoom test meeting, I use this for my office hours or class instruction or a meeting with a, a group of friends. So I'm going to schedule the meeting for uh, Monday, and let's go ahead and schedule it. We're going to say 11 a.m. And the duration is 30 minutes on this particular meeting. Now, if you do have a pro account, you can schedule it for the one hour longer than the 40 minutes, however long you need it. But since I'm doing a basic account, it's going to be a 30 minute meeting, Pacific Standard Time. And then if you want to have it every week or once a month or so forth, you can do repeat options. I do want it to um, be scheduled in my calendar and then I'm not going to use my personal meeting ID number for this video, but you can um, if you'd like, but because it's a special meeting, I want to make sure that's disabled. And then I'm going to require a password. Now it automatically generates a password for you, but I'm going to go ahead and enter in a, t um, a password that's more um, that's easier for my participants to, to remember. I normally like the video off and it allowed the participant to turn on their cam. So I disabled those audio options to the telephone device and enable a waiting room. And again, if you want to know how to do your universal settings for all meetings, so you don't have to do this each time, there's a video below showing you how to do the settings or update the settings or change the settings. So you can see that. And then once you're done, you're going to touch that and when you do that it's going to create an event to be included in your calendar so you see the name if you want to make any edits now is the time to make the edits and depending upon how your iPad is set up you'll see an option that's underneath can calendars that say invitees um, that will allow you to actually um, add those individuals you plan to invite you'll notice the password and the meeting ID are at the bottom and when you're happy with it, you're going to go add. And now when you touch your meetings, that test meeting appears in um, your setup. So you have your Zoom test meeting and you're going to go ahead and see at the very top, it says, if you touch it, you'll see add invitees. And when you add invitees, you can either email them or send a text message or a copy to clipboard. Now, since I'm on my iPad, I don't want to set select send message because I want to be able to send it to my Android users. So I would go back on my iPhone where I have my um, my telephone numbers for my Android users so I can send it to everyone. But since I'm on my iPad right now, I can go ahead and input um, the phone number, not phone number, but the email address of who I plan to invite or you can use your calendar if you have um, emails already into your iPad system. And then you can make any modifications to the subject line or, um, or to the actual message. And then that pretty much is it. It has the link to your um, calendar file. And then you're going to push or press the little green arrow to allow you to send it. I don't want to really... Well, I can go ahead and send it because I'm sending it to myself. So after you've scheduled your meeting and you sent out your invite email, I'm going to go to my iPhone. And since I invited myself, uh, it's for a Monday meeting. You'll see that I've downloaded the actual meeting file. So now it's in my calendar. So if I touch on that, I have the same information that was sent from the iPad. I'm going to press on edit. And if I want to invite more people, now you'll see that my iPhone is set up where the calendar and invitees says none. But if I want to add some additional people, I can. And um, anyone else can add some additional people. I 
And you'll notice now it invites you, it says one. And you can set your alerts here, or anything else you want to um, include. So that concludes this video on how to invite someone to a scheduled meeting. And remember, today is a great day to learn something new.